You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face, Kimberly Suzwa. Yes. Okay, did it right. Yes. From Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Correct. Okay, president. Yes, I am. Um, you guys, gals, do yes. wonderful things for Thank the community. You. Thank you. I Thank remember you. back when they dedicated the Mulberry Park, and yes. you guys were all involved with that. Um, there just was an event over there Correct. that we covered and helped promote. Correct, our family fun day. Absolutely, but you, you're giving away stuff now. The yes. next event you're doing, you're giving away for free Yes. backpacks. Yes, we are. Tell uh, us about it. Sure, uh, the Psi Iota Omega chapter, that's the name of our chapter here of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. We are in, uh, we always take part with Project Guardian Angels for the um, basketball in the streets. Right. So on August 11th at East Junior High, we will be giving away backpacks, quality backpacks filled with school supplies. So this is our fourth annual backpack drive. Last year we gave away 350 over our goal of 300. So we've increased our goal this year to give away 500. And it's our hopes to surpass that amount. That is quite a goal. Yes. Now, do you get donations for the backpacks? Yes, we do, and I have to make sure that I mentioned um, last year, Copeland Toyota gave us a dollars. Hopefully, they'll come on again this year. Um, we have a new supporter of Nissan 24. Mm -hmm. They've contributed uh, to our uh, initiative in addition to North End Motors. My friend, Aki. Okay. Aki Parwaz is in Rotary with me in Bridgewater. Okay. He was the past president, and yes. he and his brother own North End Motors. Oh, really? Well, I yeah. purchased my car there. They're I awesome. did, too. All right. I did, too. I, I went looking for a car, and uh, um, it was the right price at the right time, and he's a great guy. Yes. He's a excellent, excellent service over there. Um, I cannot, uh, I'll be remiss to forget, I believe, is Checking In Foundation last year. Mary Waldron. Yes, Mary yeah. Waldron. Uh, their organization contributed as well. So we're going out and we're asking for more contributions because the more contributions we receive, the more impact we can have uh, on our community. And what we learned is that a number of the families look forward to us being there at this event on an annual basis because we help to alleviate some of the costs it takes to prepare their kids for school. It's a big cost. Okay. Yes. There's yes. Uh, even papers and pencils still count. Yes, they okay. do. Okay, notebooks. Yes. All sorts of school supplies. Um, if somebody wanted to donate mm -hmm. or get involved, how would they do that? Sure, they can reach out to me, Kimberly Zuzwa, um, at K, I'm sorry, P E A C H E Z Z A K A at Comcast.net, or they can reach out to our Facebook page which is under our Psi Iota Omega page, to let us know that they have backpacks that they're willing to donate. And we're going to give you this link so you can put it up so they can see it on your yes. Facebook page. Right? Yes. I think we did that before. Yes. Um, how many members are there in your sorority group? Well, in the entire sorority internationally, we have over 300,000. Mm -hmm. In Brockton area, it's 47 of us, and we just recently, uh, and we are in the process of celebrating 10 years. Okay. of existence here. That's for, therefore, we had uh, our family fun day to really right. bring on the community to help basically say to them, thank you for supporting us and helping us to help them um, impact their lives. I mean, how can you go wrong? Free? Free. That's a great event that is put on. We're, we've been trying to get someone to come on and promote that event. Yes. So I just got a, a, a Facebook uh, from uh, Ollie last yes, night. Ollie, the okay. man. And then yes. and Rose, Rosie's Rosie, involved yes. in that. Rosie, yes, Officer Rosie, okay. yes. Okay, so uh, we want to promote that. We'll probably get some footage of that, too. Yes. Um, so this is the fourth annual. Yes. Okay, and because of generous businesses, you can do this. Yes, we can. Okay, and that's a lot of legwork to get the generous businesses to There do is because, a lot of legwork. You know, there's a lot of businesses they get hit a lot by a lot of people and a lot of organizations and it's good that they're doing this because there's a need and there really is a need in Brockton. It's there not is. like it's an invisible need or anything. You go there and unless you hit those sales the right day, the normal price of notebooks and things like that and the backpacks, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a lot. What do, you, what do you think a backpack is worth? Um, well, if you want a really good backpack that's going to last from day one up until the end of the year, you're looking at a good twenty to twenty-five dollar investment mm -hmm. in a backpack. And then for parents that are wanting and needing to buy all the supplies, you're probably looking at another fifty dollars. Right. 
And so I can just say that last year, uh, we gave out over 350 backpacks in less than 30 minutes. Yeah, I it. So we ask of anyone, all of you out there who's interested, we begin giving out backpacks at 12. So first come, first serve. When they're gone, they're gone. And when they're gone, they're gone. And there are different school supplies drives going on in the city, but nothing that I've seen with a backpack. I've seen school supplies. Yes. Just general school supplies, but I haven't seen backpacks. Yeah, so in our backpacks, our students will receive crayons, they get notebooks, they get folders, they get rulers. Our high school students, they have con uh, with those protractors. Yeah. They actually get scientific calculators. Oh, wow. Yes, and their backpacks are a little bit more of a quality, you mm -hmm. know, thicker, long-lasting, well, you if, know. If you actually do carry the books in them. Yes. <laughs> which a lot of schools, like Southeastern, where I'm on the school committee, we're doing Chromebooks. And oh, wow. You're not getting textbooks that are like weigh 500 pounds right. so you're the hunchback of Notre Dame at the Correct. end of the day. But uh, those backpacks are needed for all stuff. Backpacks nowadays have water, you know, yes, holders in them and, and cell phone, phone holders. holders and yes. Nothing like Put the computers I, in. Like yes. So, you know, they're, they're really good. Um, what would you say to entice a business right now to help you? Well, one of the things I would say is it's the time to invest in the young minds now because they are your workforce of tomorrow. So think about the investment that you give is helping to plan and bring someone to work in your organization and you to, to, look, to look at it in that way. Well, I think it's a great thing that you guys, you guys do. Um, we'll, we'll look forward to the fifth annual next yes, year. Yes, yes. Okay, and keep doing what you're doing and we'll bring you back on the show and we'll talk to you about um, the organization kind of generically without dates so okay. we can help promote what you do. We, awesome. You're, you're a great community partner and uh, you should be very proud of what everybody does. Thank you and thank you for having me here today. Always a pleasure. Good All to right. see you. All right. Pleasure. Take care. Take care. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lee, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.